I buy this stuff when I have the money and figure that I've got some use out of it, so that's got to be worth something. And, uh, and, and then moving along, when I'm at, I had been hoarding this stuff, and you know, and it just, I had something that I wanted to do, and I figured, well, this is a way to get the money to do it, and I'll end up doing what I want to do. Jeff Auto tracks automatically anyway. Yeah, there's no interface cables or anything required, and, and, and so I'll have a tuner and an amplifier that all track on RF sensitivity, and, and I, no interface cable. But what that will allow me to do is, is I will no longer have to plug the uh, cable into the back of the Yesu to run the uh, tuner and have it matched up, and which will free up the amplifier, the radio, so it, I'll be able to run it at 200 watts rather than at 100 watts when it restricts it to, because when, when you run the Yesu outboard tuner, it's only a battery via the connection on the back, but it does it when it turns fast enough the funny gear signal it makes the switch. Yeah, that's right, and it's got three different options to do that. <laughs> it gets you to the same place. And it says it's rated for 1500 and the other one says it's rated for 1800 which is, you know... Yeah, because I, I looked at that piece of wire and I thought, oh boy, this piece of wire, there's this cable with four or five conductors in it, will be a great antenna about 60 feet away from the house. The only thing I found I didn't really care about the ACF audio is, is that it requires uh, maintenance. You know, a guy needs to get in and clean that roller and and lube the, uh, the rod that it runs on once a year. So there is that. But I was running an AT4K there for a while, and I was kind of used to doing that anyway.